he not only plays a doctor on TV, but you're actually a real doctor, like in, re in real life. Yep. Yeah, I was a practice, uh, practicing doctor for seven years, and I was doing always doing comedy on the side, even in college. <laughs> and it's a whole up and back, a whole thing, and I just got really, really lucky. So now I have a question for you, because yep. yesterday we were kind of talking about how people are foregoing anesthesia so that they can stay awake through surgery. Mm -hmm. And some people were concerned that they were worried about the banter going on between the doctors. So <laughs> what was your banter bedside manner? Well, I never, you... I never did surgery, okay. so, so AIDS, so I'm, I'm, <laughs> I have no dog in that race. But I, but I think that when, you know, I, I do think that the comedy and the acting had helped my bedside manner. And I was always pretty serious. I, I was never joking around. Right, right. I was not like Patch Adams or came in like, you know, <laughs> you got herpes, but I got your nose, honk, honk. It wasn't like that. So, no, no. Well, there's that. No. So this Friday, <laughs> this is why you would I want to start out yeah, right. Why, yeah, I'm I'll like, start out with some edge, baby. Well, two minutes in, you just said the H word. I don't yeah. even know how to deal yep. with that. That's how we um, do it. So we talk about the fact, it's no surprise you have a show. <laughs> uh, this Friday's the season two finale of Dr. Ken. Shall we take a look at a clip? Sure. Hi, is this Ken Park? Maybe. Uh, well, this is Dan Harmon. I'm a TV producer. I was hoping to have Ken audition for a role on my new show, but if this isn't his number... Oh, no, 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 no. This is he. <laughs> yeah, I'm casting a one-episode role for a part on a show set at a community college. Do you think you could make it to audition tomorrow at 5? Sure. Yeah, I, I can make that work. Yeah, I, I just have to move a few things around and... Oh, I don't I... care. <laughs> <laughs> the writing is brilliant. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's one of those things where it's the joke that we all can relate to, but right. then you yeah. actually just put it on screen. We've all been there. Yeah. No, so. this is this, this is very much like art imitating life because that that actor right there is actually the creator of Community that was really? here on NBC for five years, and so we I, we wrote that in mm -hmm. the show in the finale where Ken like auditions for a Community type sitcom. Oh, so that's good. and he plays himself, so it's very surreal. And that's how good. much of your real life do you work into right. the show? I do I, I, a bit, especially this season. I've gone a lot deeper into my own life, like of stuff where it's like medical cases. It mm. could be like an innocent case of highs, you know, maybe like my boss was allergic to his girlfriend who was getting stress <laughs> highs, you know. <laughs> uh, and then we did some deeper stuff too, where I'm like, my wife, my real life wife is a breast cancer survivor, eight years cancer free. Oh, and so great. I co wrote a, a, an episode like dealing with kind of my TV wife getting a biopsy and, and like the, the stress and the horror of waiting yeah. for that result. That turned mm. out fine in the episode. Yeah. I love that. And wow. that's real life though, the ups, yeah. the downs of it. Yeah. You have to have humor in it. Yeah. Um, so we like to be nosy around here sure. and get all into your personal life. Sure. Right? So we have all this, up in my business. All up in your business. <laughs> and because you're a doctor, we're going to play a game called, you ready, ready for this? Yep. Dr. Confessions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was a real laugh. I don't think that was a real laugh. At all. What was that laugh? That was a laugh. That was like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah, you yeah. stick to the jokes and we'll just... Yeah, I'll stick to the jokes. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yep. All right, so we have... <laughs> oh, see, that was a real laugh. Thank we you. can tell the difference now. Aw, thank you. I think it was a real laugh. Yeah, your first aid kit. We didn't open it for you. Do I open it? Okay. So now you pull out some... Okay. Oh, look, we've even had little doodads. Wow, little doodads. Yeah, but they're, they're little still doodads in the plastic Little doodads and whatnots in there. Can we at least take them out of the bag so we can act yeah. like... Did we explain the game at all? So you're going okay. to... Pull out these pull out pieces this of paper. Where, I know, I just did just it without, answer without the questions. saying. Yeah. I mean, you'd answer okay. wasn't yeah. that. Yeah. Right. Who's the most famous person <laughs> who's asked you for medical help? Oh, that's, uh, well, okay, I think I can say it. Um, <laughs> are there, yeah, are there HIPAA laws for breaking? Well, you know, no. It, <laughs> well, yes, and my, my whole life is a violation of a HIPAA law, but I think. <laughs> On Hangover 2, um, one of Ed Helms' best friends was, was we we're in Bangkok in Thailand, and and he had asked for some his medical advice on behalf of his friend, and I was in my Mr. Chow gear. We we're saying awfully, <laughs> awfully, awfully dirty R-rated stuff, and we we're just I was all dressed up in the Mr. Chow gear, and then I get a phone call, and I literally break character and go to my doctor self. So I'm going from like I'm going from like my my chow cadence yeah. to my normal dad like yeah. Dr. Ken Kate Mr. Chow to Dr. Ken I'm like hey stupid what are you doing oh my gosh hi Ed are you okay <laughs> um, oh my god I worry he might have E. coli gastroenteritis is he allergic to Cipro he <laughs> might have to go to a walk-in clinic get an IV like one liter normal saline and then I had I had to go back into oh accent goodness. to normalize the situation I had to it's, look at him <laughs> stupid I had to go it's back it's weird if you mix him up yeah it's weird if I yeah, yeah. Uh, oh you got UTI you know I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, so you know. Blood infection? You know, no, it would be bad.
<laughs> it would make the infection worse. <laughs> yep. Okay. okay. Shall we do another? Do another one. That's kind of hard okay. to top. Yeah. What's the go. worst piece of medical advice he ever gave? I, I don't, I, you know, the, you know. I, I honestly have to answer this for the real. You know, as a doctor, you don't really give. You, you're, you're, you, the, the good thing, once you become a doctor, you don't give bad medical advice. You know, I, I think that, yeah, you don't, you don't say, you know, um, you know, I, I, you know, I got a, oh, I got, uh, I got a cut on my right arm. I have some eczema. What should I do? Uh, amputate. I don't really, you know, I, I think, I, yeah, I think, I think that, but, you know, I think in evolution, when you're a med student, if you do give like inexperienced advice, you have like expert doctors that help right. you out mm -hmm. in that situation so you don't give bad advice. Oh, that's, that's good. Yeah. Do we have time for one more? One sure. more. Okay. Absolutely. You can be my doctor anytime. I like the balance. <laughs> yeah. Don't you think I know. So? Yeah. yeah. Like I, you have the good but then you have the, right. the heart. Right. Manic depressive. That's what I am. Okay. <laughs> um, while shooting Ride Along 2, what was your least cool moment around Ice Cube? <laughs> 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 I, I like there's there's been a t couple of times where um, I, I don't like to ask other celebrities for photos. I never mm. do that. The, you know, just as an actor. Sorry for that photo I asked you for. Oh no, no, it's <laughs> fine. It's fine. It's fine. And I gave three with some backups. I had some headshots. I'm different. But my, my one of my good friends, her like her boyfriend really wanted a photo with Ice Cube, and so I worked all all day with him. My first day of working, and I want to make sure I fit in with Kevin Hart and Ice Cube. And then at the very end, it was like a good like to quote his song. It was a good day. And, <laughs> And I wanted to, and then, you know, I, I felt like I would ruin that coolness of it. It was, it was a good day. And I go, can Chris have a photo with you, please? It just, I just felt so nerdy. Not cool. Not Next cool. Did they take yeah. the photo? He did. He oh, was the coolest go. guy in the world. Happy I see he was the best. Happy ending. <laughs> Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.